After facing a very tough time at the Champions Chess Tour first three rounds, Arjun Arigaisi is coming back into the tournament. He first beat Mamediaro with a score of 3-1 and now against Anish Giri, he has managed to beat the Dutch number one in just three games with a score of two and half half. What a fantastic game that was. And I want to show you a few moments from this match to uh, just tell you how he managed to beat such a strong player like Anish. So firstly, in game number one, Arjun began with uh, this line Jobawa London that he has played. And in fact, his game went in the same direction as his global uh, chess.com global championship against David Paravian. Everything was the same. And here uh, Paravian had gone knight c6 and Arjun had played this very nice move bishop h6 and managed to win that game. But here he went d4 and now after bishop e5, D, uh, bishop e5, rook e5, dc, queen c3. It so turned out that uh, this position was around equal. Maybe very small edge for white, but roughly around equal. And it was very interesting to see how Arjun actually managed to outplay his opponent from here. So he first played g4, h5, and uh, now black has two central passers as well but after this move i think the the mistake came at rook d5 because this allowed takes takes and c4 when already the queen side pawns were way faster than these two central majority you know uh, central passers these pawns became very strong a5 uh, and maybe b5 was very strong here uh, but in the end, it was not so easy for uh, Arjun to win this. Anish was defending very tenaciously, takes, takes and was putting maximum problem. But then came King G5. This was the mistake. I think even F6 would have given good drawing chances. Although it looks very scary, this entire position. So... King g5, rook takes e5 was played and after this, uh, this was the final error. I think here he still had to play king f4 back and try to fight on. But he went here and now after bishop d3, excellent move by Arjun, takes here and check. And the c pawn was queening and he was in time and Anish resigned. So with this... Um, he was 1-0 up in the match and then we move to game number 2 where the position was not, um, I mean the opening choice was not very spectacular here. Arjun was black and he played this uh, Slough system which is well known, Queen e2, Bishop g6, Knight e5 and you have the bishop pair now, white has sort of a very small edge, e5, d5, rook d8. Bishop d4 and already the position was around equal. But then this very sharp move, knight e4 came. And the point is if you take on e4, then I can take on c4. So this was already a mistake. I think bishop d3 or queen d3 here was much better and then the d4 pawn would have fallen. But he went queen e4 and now this rook is very well positioned um, and black is in big trouble. Uh, white is in big trouble. Arjun managed to sort of convert this without uh, too much of problem like, you know, check. And I think this would have been very close to equality because okay i mean you might feel that this is not great but this is good chances of a draw um, but instead he went rook b5 and after this it turns out that black is winning
he takes on f2 takes the pawn here and arjun managed to queen his pawn down the board so that was a tremendous uh, victory and then in the third game when the score was already 2 nil down anish was in a must win situation and he went for the king's indian defense here but it gave white a very comfortable position you know there was hardly any trouble that arjun faced in fact it was so good the position that even in this must win encounter it was anish who repeated here and was not i mean he did not break the repetition so with this it was a two and half half victory for uh, arjun over anish and uh, that's amazing he will next face Le um he will have one more ge ge match and then in the last round he will face pragnananda so arjun versus prag will be amazing there's also magnus versus prag in round six uh, we are all looking forward to it it's 8 a.m in the morning uh, has been a long day of commentary since 1.30. So I'll take your leave for now. This is Sagasha signing off.